Hi, this is Brad. Here with Twisted Out Brewery, we're going to do our last final uh, video for the AT1 canning machine. So, we're going to talk about some modifications that we did, a couple tips to dial this thing in. Uh, the major one we did, I think, was this can rinser. So, the uh, machine never really came with a pre can pre rinse. So, what we did is we actually bought these. These are just stock uh, glass rinsers that you would get from uh, Webstron or any restaurant supply store. Um, they work awesome. So we, this is the one I really like the most. It comes with a, a mounting plate. What we did is we got a little piece of composite uh, spacer that we put right here, and we just ran our screws right through it. And there's a gap here in this cart, so it fit perfectly inside this cart. Now if you look underneath here, you can see how we hooked it up. We just went with a, a threaded fitting here into a hose barb and into a piece of half inch line. And this comes over here, and we actually installed two of these glass rinsers, uh, so two of us could rinse together. But these come into a T and into a tri-clamp fitting, and then we just hook this right up to our uh, cleaning keg. And then for the drain, we, uh, we went with a three-quarter inch line, and we just pretty much shoved it right over top of the threaded piece here and hose clamped it, and it works perfect. And you could uh, either direct it onto the cart or onto the ground. The cart has drain holes in it. So come over here on this side, now, when we ordered this, I didn't realize we ordered the different one without the plate. So we still made it work. Uh, basically, we just drilled a couple holes, or actually I think three holes, into the, the stainless steel here, and we ran three screws directly in there and let this kind of hang over to the side. And it actually worked out great. So I'll kind of show you this in action here. So basically you just push, you can hear it come in, uh, you can see it a little bit better inside the glass, how nice it just comes down and cascades on the glass, so that's how well it rinses it. We use star sand here, you know the old homebrew saying, don't fear the foam. So uh, it does leave a little bit of foam there, but that's not going to hurt anything. And we also let the cans drain for a little bit while we, while we do it. And then we come over here on this side. This is the next modification that we did. So we were having a little bit of issues with foaming in the beginning. So uh, we went from the line that they had, it was a soft line, to a quarter inch braided hose. And this was actually a recommendation from the manufacturer when we talked to them about us going up to that quarter inch braided hose. So the soft hose, you know, it will actually swell a little bit when, the, when, the, when you get pressure on it. And you got to run your tank about 17 PSI-ish so that the uh, CO2 doesn't break out of solution. So running that on a soft hose, it does kind of swell the hose a little bit. So the braided hose actually prevents the swelling. Then we went and just got some regular pipe insulation from Lowe's and we wrapped that hose and we actually took black electrical tape and taped it over there just to keep it nice and you know neat and it uh, you know seals it in and it makes it easy to wipe down and clean as well. And I feel like this insulation makes a big difference because it's all about uh, temperature at this point. As your beer comes in, if it starts to warm up, it's going to break out a solution. So I feel like this was a nice mod that we did. The last thing uh, is this drain hose right here. So you can see the soft drain hose kind of kinks on us and um, it builds up on the inside, which I didn't like. So this is the original hose. So I put it back on there just to show you. And then we decided to go with more of a rigid hose. So this one kind of holds its form better. Uh, we could go with a braided hose. We just kind of had this laying around. So um, you do have to heat the end up with some hot water to get it on the barb. Uh, but this works a lot better. It doesn't kink. And other than that, um, that's pretty much it. This machine is ready to go and rock right out of the box pretty well. But these are just a couple little tips and updates that I wanted to let you guys know of. And we decided also to go with this Quiet Tech uh, air compressor here. 80% quieter it actually is. It's a, it's a big difference. Like we started with this big, loud, noisy thing. It was a pain in the butt when we packaged. So uh, this thing cuts down on it like over half, probably three quarters of the sound. So thanks for watching our video. Make sure you click the subscribe button if you want to see us do more of this stuff. Thank you.